today's trip is to learn China's modernization. But where should we begin? Let's start by understanding China. What's China's modernization? How does it stand apart from the Western approach? We've got global leaders and brilliant minds here to dive into this thrilling subject. We've stuffed a mystery box with all our burning questions and our guests will take them on one by one. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go and have some fun. Mystery box, let's see what comes up. I don't think any culture or society has experienced modernization, which is for more than a billion people. So at that scale, China is unique, as is India as well. But the speed and the level of quality at which China has developed is unprecedented. I think it's the um, common pursuit of the goals that are set. It's the fact that in an inclusive way, uh, all layers of population, all generations, all Chinese people seem to work together to uh, to achieve the goals. China's modernization is a continuation of Deng Xiaoping's opening up and reform that began three decades ago, four decades ago. And I call this modernization under President Xi opening up 2.0 because uh, there's further opening up through these initiatives that are based on multilateralism. The West looks out at the world, and particularly the USA, they look out the world with a win-lose attitude and they see threats. If these other countries develop, then they'll take some of our pie. China says, if these other countries develop, then their development will feed back to us, and the pie will grow bigger and there will be plenty for everyone. So I think that's a huge difference between China's modernization and the Western modernization at the expense of the economic disparity. That's a serious problem. We're shrinking of the middle class, but China wants to expand uh, in the name of a common class strategy. The modernization of the Chinese as economic, social, and institutional needs to be an inspiration for the countries. And you cannot copy it because they are paths China likes to show as a reference for the world. China has found a model that is suitable for their culture, history, and the political system. There's no one set of Western modernization. This modernization is for all mankind, for every country. And China already uh, set that example. I think of China as an irresistible woman. And the West is the groom. And so Daimin and I wrote four books about how the West could succeed in that courtship. You may kiss your right now. Uh. <laughs> the future is full of possibilities. Through deeper communications and diverse collaborations, we'll understand China better. And together, let's unveil the mysteries of what's to come in the future.